Hello and welcome to Soul Magic 99. Today I'm going to talk about a few terms that we use in the spiritual community that some of you may not be aware of what that actually means. The first thing I'm going to talk about is light workers. This is a person with the ability to intuit what people, other people are thinking or feeling. And there are about various different signs to tell if you are a light worker. You may know intuitively that you are here for a higher purpose. You are here to transform your life and others by helping to raise a collective consciousness. You are highly intuitive with wisdom about life since you were very young. You may connect with people easy as it is part of your purpose to help them. You can be a loner as you are sensitive to other people's energies and it can take only taking small doses. When you were young, something may have happened to you, a trauma or challenges. These were not to hurt you, but to awaken you to the healer that you are. You are here on a mission to improve your life and those around you. What can be fixed and how can it get better? You may have struggled with mental illnesses at some point in your life, which was adaptions to your own circumstances rather than innate problems. Part of your purpose is to revolutionise the way people see their mental, emotional and physical health. You are spiritual but not religious, helping people to see their unlimited power, potential and healing capabilities. You are creative and healing with some form of art, with writing or paintings um, or use of a healing modality. You are an old soul mature experience of many lifetimes. You felt different from the rest of your family, friends and peers when you were growing up. You have struggled to find good friendships and to fit in. You are on an ongoing awakening and healing and you shine your light in shadow aspects of most people deny. You are a powerful, powerful manifester when you focus on something. This ability means you have to be careful what you focus on as you will create it in your life, whether it be good or bad. You may be drawn to ancient texts about energy and ascension and resonate more with Eastern philosophies. You can intuit people's feelings or needs. You are here to dissolve old karmic patterns and to become who you are meant to be. Self-growth is your objective in life. How can I better myself? I know the best years are to come. You have a love of nature as it helps you feel more connected to the divine. You have a fearlessness and impulsivity, impulsivity knowing the universe is looking out for you. At one point in your life, you may have experienced an intense spiritual awakening. This can be a painful process, but is necessary. Part of the global effort to raise consciousness of the collective. You learned your lessons to help others achieve enlightenment. These are a couple of books that I've read. The Lightworker's Way by Doreen Virtue. It's a very good book. And this book by Diana Cooper. Light Up Your Life. If you want to look into that more, I'd suggest you read those. Now I'm going to talk about star seeds. These are people who believe they originated from another world, a planet or a dimension. If you get your natal chart done online, which you can get done free, there are different websites that you will, that will use your natal chart to look into this for you to see where your origins come from. Have you always had an interest in the stars, the planets, the cosmos, and a sound belief in UFOs, science fiction, even though you may not remember seeing any evidence of UFOs, you had a strong feeling that they do exist. When you incarnate on this planet, you have no memory of your own identity. The star seeds are here to be of service to mankind, to assist society into the new age. The characteristics of a star seed. From a young age, you had a deep wisdom. 
and have been told many times you're an old soul and you agree. You have feelings of homesickness which you cannot explain. You have always felt different and that others cannot understand you. Feel divided from the world in a constant battle with them versus you. You feel morally superior to others regardless of education or social standing. You can be highly empathetic which can be overwhelming as you feel all the emotions for those around you but you can relate to other struggles. Your physical body may function differently such as having a lower body temperature than normal and, or an inability to withstand great heat. You are intelligent but bored by traditional academics, may have had paranormal or psychic experiences. You feel you're here for a purpose on earth, to fulfill and struggle with what you want to do of your life. You lack passion to devote to one area of your life, so you're forever looking for that new challenge. The physical limits of your body frustrate you, as in when you were a star seed, you have more freedom in the physical form. You have few friends, but they understand you well. Your dreams can be very vivid, exceptional, often otherworldly. When you meet new people, they may feel uncomfortable in your presence. People sense you are different. You may feel isolated in your own family. Animals, animals and babies and small children are drawn to you. They find you fascinating and you have a deep connection with animals and you can sense their thoughts and feelings. You have an interest in spirituality, but beyond the books of religion. And spirituality has always been a part of you. You are interested in metaphysics or science behind other worlds. When you meet people, you can sense who they are beyond the external and sense when people are lying or what they're going to say next. From very young, you question society's ways and still do not understand why others don't see the mistakes that are made. You may have trouble sleeping. You have a natural ability to make others feel better through words or medication. Strangers often open up to you about problems. At first impressions with you, people might think you're cold and distant, but when they know you, they find you one of the most loving people they know. Because of this empathy, highly empathetic nature, you have to avoid large crowds as you can only handle small groups of people at a time as other people's emotions and actions can be overwhelming and, and make you feel bad. The ability to grow emotionally and spiritually is faster than others. You have a strong sense of morality and this keeps you grounded and you can handle different emotions and handle things that other people could not. So that's star, star seeds. And I want to talk about soulmates and twin flames. A soulmate can be a close friend or a romantic part, partner or a family member. A soulmate is someone that just gets you. It's a connection of unconditional love and understanding. Soulmate will understand your flaws, insecurities, and they can help you grow. They will be completely honest with you. They help you become the best version of yourself. They are teachers, learning lessons through our relationships with them. When you meet a soulmate, you have that feeling you have known them before, and it's probably because you have spent many last past lives with them. It's always possible for soulmates to stay together. As it's not always possible. Sorry, it's not always possible for soulmates to stay together, as once the lessons have been learned, you may go your separate ways. You can have more than one soulmate in your lifetime. It depends on what lessons you need to learn. Twin flames. The story goes: at the beginning of time, a soul was split into two. So these two people are part of the same soul. When and if you come together with your twin, it is a completeness, completion of oneness and a mission to get into the world. These are signs, a few signs that you may have met your twin flame. You may live on different continents when you connect. 
you may connect online. One or both of you may already be in a relationship. When you meet, you have a deep knowingness of each other. You have a purpose or mission to fulfil while in union. Signs and numbers may keep showing up, such as 1111. There might be similar birthdays and dates in each other's families. It may not be easy to be together sometimes. They can only stay together if they're spiritually aligned at the same time. If not, they will be in separation until they can come together again. But it does not always mean you will be together forever. A twin flame is also acts as a mirror and you can very often be feeling the same emotions um, even on, when you're separate. You may share dreams, you may come to each other in each other's dreams. It's a very strong connection, the most strongest connection there is, but it can be very difficult. And it doesn't mean to say that when you meet your twin flame that you will be together forever because these can be very difficult relationships and they're to help us learn and grow. If you do meet your twin flame, know that you will have the ride of your life. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed that. If so, like, I'd like you to subscribe if you liked it. And see you next time. You take care.